Hold the phone, we got a new brand in town. And yes, it's not Red Tornado, it is Chinese, and you've not seen it on this channel before. And I'll be honest, although I've not tried them on, and you'll see why I haven't tried them on in a moment, I am excited, and I hope you are too. This video may take a little longer than usual because we're gonna be quite thorough in making sure that me, I am happy, and then equally as a result, so too you. So it's not Red Tornado. And it is Chinese. What is it? Well, I'm so excited, I haven't actually owned it. I've saved this for us all to share together. Let's go for it. Oh, gosh. If I cut these jeans, I'll be gutted. Right, okay. So, all of these a couple of weeks ago. Delivery was pretty rapid. I would say un under two weeks, I'd say. And I would have ordered them sooner, but they're out of stock. And who is it? It's Sauce Zan. That's a Z. Sauce Zan. Let's have a look. Another Ziploc bag. They love their Ziplocs. Don't we all? It comes with apparently this, which is a canvas bag, which says, um, yeah, you can see it. And some nice logo. Or, well, Chinese writing. And then underneath is the denim itself. So this is the first time I've seen it. And I got it because, well, I like a lot about it. It shrinks, so it's, from what I can gather, both unwashed and unsanfrized. It's 14 ounce and it's indigo dyed. They, they make quite a lot of it in the description that it's indigo dyed. And... I just think it's a bit different. We've not seen the brand before. You can have a quick look at that. I'm holding it up. Now, there's probably going to be some argument about this, and I could well be wrong, so I'm happy for people to correct me. I generally buy the jean size I am, right? Although the other day I bought a pair of trousers that were 36 inch, and when they got, got to me, they were like clown pants. I'd send them back, because uh, I'm actually a 36 inch, but it seems that everything's 34 that I fit into. So these are 34, they'll shrink apparently, by up to one to three cm. So that's, you know, almost an inch. But I've been told, and I've read, that generally jeans in the waist just bag out again. So whatever the shrinkage is, they'll bag back out. So I've bought my usual 34, the leg is 34, um, which actually should be a bit longer because I, I'm a 30, I'm a 34, 32. And if they shrink in the leg, which um, it says is eight cm. I mean, God almighty, they'll be like, uh, well, it'd be like school children's trousers. Now let's have a look here. There's a there's a brand here, a label. It's interesting. It's quite basic. And there's this label here. I don't I don't know why it's a plastic label. You can have a look at that. Looks like a security tag, and that is somehow fixed in. And these are called the bamboo jeans, if I remember correctly, and. Again, there's the, that, that is card, not cotton. Let's have a look at the front. The buttons are apparently YKK and they're customized. So we'll have a look at those quickly. Let's have a look at that one. Oh gosh. Sort of got an old fashioned finish. And then if we undo it. Every single one is custom. All the way down, if I go back to one. And then you've got these, which look like they could be quite interesting. Where, where is that one? There it is there. Are you going to go into focus for that one? No, you're not. So 14 ounce indigo selvage and the selvage, by the way, we'll have a quick look at that because that's meant to be green selvage. I'll go back to this. Can we find it? There it is. I mean, yeah, it is green and do I care? Not really, but it is. Let's have a look at the bag, uh, pocket bags. Sometimes they're branded, sometimes they're not. 
they're not. They look pretty solid. Um, I've noticed the pocket bags, which I haven't mentioned before, get, are getting bigger, like longer. These are no real exception. And then there's this one here. So there's no writing. What's it say about it here? What's the care? Size 34, cotton home cent made in China, 30 degree wash, when you get around to washing it. And then some symbols. Now, apparently the back pockets are hidden. Hidden, so here they are, look. The back pot um, rivets are hidden, which it says. So if you have a look, you can't, you can't see it that side. You can see it this side. Now, something that they did include on these jeans in the description is measurements. So, just to give you a contrast with the blooming un unbelievably baggy Red Tornadoes, the Red Tornado, um, let's have a look. The leg width, we'll start with, on the Red Tornadoes is nine inches. Okay. Now on these, and I know this because I've already seen it in the description, they should be, here goes the magic tape measure, which I never normally have. Mm, nine in, no, eight and a half inches, which is about right, not too wide. It's amazing because that extra half an inch, um, 22 centimeters in total, this is 21, is significant, right? Now where it's also present is in the, th in the thigh. So if we can just, bring this down right so if we say the thigh is about here right the thigh in the red tornado is 11.5 inches and this is 11 so still slightly baggy but not as baggy I mean I don't know do you go to this line here 10.5 or maybe 11 at the max and that is 29 centimetres or 11.5 inches for the Red Tornado. And again, just to re reiterate, these are 11 inches or 28, 28 centimetres. I think it will make a difference. Um, and, uh, and bearing in mind, these will shrink a lot more. Apparently they'll shrink 0.5 cm to 1 cm in the thigh, which isn't massive. And the leg shrinkage, as I mentioned, I think is 8 cm. And then the waist 1 to 3 cm. Um, and also, here is the rise. Let's look at the rise because the rise is important to me. My um, strike golds are very low, like really low. I've got no contrast. But anyway, the rise on these jeans versus the Red Tornado. So the Red Tornado th thigh sh um, waist is 12.5. And these are 11... 0.5 or 29 cm so nice rise i reckon not not too low slung i don't don't really like too low slung i mean if i find i'm always pulling them up when it's low slung the finish on these two contrasting stitches here which is interesting and quite nice contrasting stitching here i quite like the classic plain finish stitching so far you know i'm looking at this at the same time as you guys are the quality of stitching seems fine. Is that, a, don't know that, is that a Z for saw sham? I think it is. Um, and then we've got the back pockets. The back pockets, very plain. So really, really plain. And there's not much else to say really. <clears throat> this is cowhide, real leather cowhide. And this is, again, just to repeat, Source Zan. I'm, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'd say probably a rival to uh, Red Tornado, but the only way to really tell how these work out is to try them on. I think, if I remember correctly, they do do heavier weights, 17 ounce, I think, but I think they're washed. In fact, it seems that most brands wash the heavier jeans from China. Um, they get, they're washed, perhaps to avoid shrinkage or any other defects. These, apparently, I'm not sure I mentioned this, the legs will twist slightly, apparently. So there'll be a slight twist. And that is it. I think they're quite interesting. I don't know when I'll try them on. I think for the price I paid, which was £56 plus the uh, the tax that they had after, about 63 good good price. I'm happy with that. I mean, you know, there are loads of comparable jeans out there that either cost as much or, or more. And they do feel obviously raw, 
um, not that thick because they aren't that thick. They're 14 ounce. And I'm, I just think they're going to be interesting to try and compare to Red Tornado because I'll be honest, I can be, and I'm not sure about you, brand loyal. So if I find a brand I really like, I'll keep buying it. Um, the Red Tornadoes, I'm dying to talk to you about how they've worn, and I'll do so in another video. But they're quite interesting, and if these are anything like that, then these could be a go-to as well. But, yeah, we'll see. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you, you've tried out already Sorsan, or will do. And if you have, tell us all about your experience in the comments. And if you haven't, tell us what, what type of denim you're going to go for. And is it going to be based off the back of this review? Any thoughts, let me know. Cheers.